We're here to promote local history. History is important to Brighton commercially because a lot of the people that come to Brighton come because uh, of the Regency buildings, they come because of the pavilion, they come because of the pier, which is Victorian. I think it's also important to people that live here if you want to try and ensure that a neighbourhood is conserved and cared for, you have to start that process with the people that live there. And one way to encourage them to do that is to get them to understand more about the value of that neighbourhood in terms of its history and its architecture. Uh, it may not be a big, you know, a grand building, it might be in a back street somewhere, but it doesn't mean that it, it, that it doesn't have its place and it doesn't have its, you know, it still has a story to tell. animating in a way strange corners you know like to tell me here which I walk past every day there was a murder in 1850 it's very interesting it's something in addition or a complementary to a, a tour guide when you're working in a very confined space like the North Lane with narrow pavements and quite a lot of traffic um, you realize that having a head up systems where you're wandering around staring at a tablet you know, is, is almost suicidal um, you're, you're bumping into people, street furniture, you're stepping off the pavement, you're not seeing the cars. You've got to have a system that's safe uh, and lets people have an idea, a general idea of which way they need to go um, and will not have them wandering up the middle of the road. And then when they get to the point of interest, it's got to work from a safe vantage point and not encourage you to step into the traffic. So the typical problem with, with these uh, virtual reality experiences, especially in the city, is that you have to preload them with content and we wanted to have a way to be more expressive about this and more free to add any content you want. Therefore, we created this portal here where you can go and add the content that you have and uh, you can create stories through it. What happens very often is that uh, when you're interested in something then you want to learn more about it but since you can't do it you know, there and then you would learn about it more later on at home in the computer and augmented reality allows you to do it right there. And the results that we've had so far um, are really encouraging because it seems that when you have really well contextualized information and when you have this interplay between the digital and the physical this is something that can really enrich the experience. You know, we see that there is really a lot of potential for that. It's still quite early days for augmented reality to be used, but that's exactly why these kind of studies need to be run to understand more what is the best way for this technology to be used.